All right, I'm gonna show the strip alignment property um, that Brad Clark uh, suggested. So by the end of this video, I'm gonna make this example that you're seeing. Uh, it's a vault. It's a vault into a side flip into a back handspring. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, let me start off fresh. So I have it about right there. So as is, um, these things don't, they weren't, none of these animations were made with any of the others in mind. So, you know, naturally they won't transition properly or at all in this case. Um, so the strip alignment, alignment thing, let me add that. Um, the UI is temporary, so you see location rotation scale. I can't, it's so temporary that I can't edit it from here. So I have to go over here. So, so when I do it, here's the animation, right? As I change the uh, alignment transform, you know, I can move him in world space, you know, rotate, scale, do whatever I need to do. That, that's pretty much what it is. Um, technically, it's not actually a world space transform, but uh, I guess you could think about it, think about it like that. So back to these two. I want them to blend nicely, and so I've got to actually align it. So let's see, the hips. Oh, I hit the bones. Hips are right there. So I'm gonna try to align the double double leg flip, the side flip, uh, to the cursor. All right, that's, that's about right. It's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's not blending right now, but at least, you know, the flips are soft around the right position. So when I do blend it, you know, now it looks okay. And you can, you can still add, you know, layers and strips and to fix the transition, do whatever you need to do. But as a starting point, I think this is pretty good, you know, without the... Um, Without the uh, strip offset, you know, you'd have to try to fix this, which I think it's kind of, it's, I think that'd be harder to fix, or at least, you know, a bit of a hassle. Um, all right, so, you know, that's pretty much what the strip alignment property is for, fixing that, uh, that blend space uh, problem. So to finish off the example, I'm going to add the back handspring. Um, oops. And I have it about right there. Oh, I forgot to mute these. All right. So uh, it doesn't really matter if they weren't muted because uh, these top ones are just fully replaced. Um, so, you know, back to the same issue. You know, the back handspring starts off at the wrong position. And we want to fix that. And then again, if I just straight do a blend, you know, it, it's gonna blend them all the way back there. We don't want that. So effectively, we want to we want to move this back handspring, uh, you know, ahead, you know, all the way up here somewhere. In this case, I want to try to align the feet. So you know, he ends up like right there for that back heel. So. I'll uh, enable the handspring, add a blend transform, and then I'll move them over. Um, yeah. So right now I I have to align them, you know, manually, you know, and put the numbers, whatever, because I haven't added any, uh, you know, any useful buttons or operators to do it automatically. So now I've aligned them. You know, and you know it. You know, it's great. Well, it's not that great, but it's great that um, the handspring starts off. You know, up here now. So when I do blend it, we now have this, and that looks 
you know that looks better you know the feet still clip to the, to the floor but um that 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 could be fixed pretty easily i think so the whole animation looks like this now and you know for for a few minutes of work i've just blended you know three animations that were never meant to be together stitched them up and you know it looks fine um, I'm gonna let this play out for a few more minutes, or you know, a few more runs, whatever. And let's show a different angle. So yeah, that's where we got.